Hey guys. Okay. Oh, last week's live was on my typical day Tuesday, which next week it will be on Tuesday and it should always be on Tuesday. But this week, my dad's birthday was yesterday. So we um, went to lunch. So I just rescheduled it to today, Wednesday, a week ago today, Hurricane Milton made his appearance. Um, he hit about, I don't know, 20 miles south of us. So we just got the north end of the wind, which is better than the south. You want the north part to hit you, not the south part or the eye. Um, but we had, you know, we had, it was like standard for about 40 to 50 mile hour winds for several hours. We had gusts up to 75 almost. Um, so we were sitting down eating dinner with our two, um, our middle and our youngest son. And all of a sudden we heard this crash <laughs> and we're like, so we all jumped up and ran out to our pool deck. My husband, we have this big clock like out on the pool deck and he had forgotten about that. And so did I, and it fell to the ground on, on the pool deck. And so it crashed and broke cause it's got, you know, a glass top. So it broke. And so then we were all just throwing, um, well, what happened was we looked up and our pool cage, which is, you know, screens, three of the screens had, had blown out and then one down in the bottom, which Hurricane Helena had kind of done some damage to it. So that one was gone too. So three big ones and then one on the bottom. So everybody is running around, picking up our outside furniture, throwing it in the pool. And, um, so that was that. And then we never lost power. I've said it before. We have our power lines are underground, so that makes a huge difference. Um, but we, so we didn't lose power, but we, uh, our power flickered a couple times. <laughs> you can ask my husband. I was like, oh no, no, no. Because when your power goes out, it absolutely stinks. But it never, it never went out. So that, so that we're, you know, lucky for that. And, um, so it just, it, it rained really hard. Our bedroom is on the upstairs and it's in the north, let's see, north, in northeast corner. And so my husband and I, it's like one o'clock in the morning, we'd go up there to go to sleep. And I was like, I can't do it. It sounded like a freight train was coming through. So um, we only had one quarter of a shingle messed up. So we were lucky for that. Um, in our neighborhood, uh, some roof damage, a um, couple trees uprooted, uh, none of ours did. Um, so, you know, we're very fortunate that we didn't have um, anything drastic happen. There's lots of people in our area um, and, you know, within our radius, like of Florida, who had some really bad damage and flooding and all that stuff, which we did not have that here. Um, so anyway... Back, everything's back to normal now. Actually, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt because the high tomorrow is like 67 and the low is 55. <laughs> that's huge for Southwest Florida. That's, that's really cold. Um, we haven't, um, October is when the humidity goes down. If you've ever been to Florida or if you live in Florida, you know what I mean by humidity. Um, but it starts to go down mid October. So it's doing what it's supposed to do, so that's really nice. Okay, so the software that I use for this, one of the things would not work, so I had to do something else for when we start making the card, and it's not gonna look as good. It's I'm sorry for that. I started it like at 11.30, and I could not get it to connect to something, so you're still gonna see it. It's just gonna, you're gonna see a lot more stuff. I can't zoom in or anything like that, so apologize for that. But um, let's see. All right, let's get started. All right, here is the card that we're going to make. I'll try to hold it up so you can see it. It's it's very shiny. It's got a lot of, you know, obviously there's the stars embossed and the background has got lots of Wink of Stella on it. So I'm going to show you some techniques for Wink of Stella. I shared some Wink of Stella techniques in one of my videos that disappeared and you can't even see it anymore. So I you know, if you watched it live, you got to see it, but after that, it's gone. So, you gotta love Facebook. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our background. I just got a piece of basic white here, 
This is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And we're gonna use Night of Navy and Misty Moonlight. All right, we'll start with the Night of Navy. All right. Nobody's home right now, just me and my dogs. And the dogs are kind of, they, every time right before I start, they come <laughs> into my stamp room and like, look at me like, what are you doing? What's going on? It's like they, they have a feeling, they know I'm getting ready to do something. So right now I think they're, I don't know where they are, they're somewhere down here. Okay, so I just did the Night of Navy around the outside just to make it a little darker. And then Misty. Okay. Just going to go over all of it. our background for our shepherd. Didn't use, I didn't use the glycerin this time, but I'm going to use it now with the Wink of Stella. Okay, so got my block here, and I've also got these little bottles. Um, these little bottles I get on Amazon. There is a link to them right there. Um, I use these for lots of things. I'm going to show you a couple things I use them for. Um, they, they come in a big, this box and there's 20 of them. So you get a lot of them and I, I have only used a few, but I have several ideas for them. So I'm going to show you some of those. Um, okay. So what we're going to do with the Wink of Stella is you can see in this bottle right here, I put a full thing, a full Wink of Stella in here, and then some glycerin. We're going to do it a little bit differently this time. Um, I'm going to squeeze it out and stuff, but that's what how I did that part. But here I've got this is okay. Let's see what's what. I'll show you that in a minute. Here, so here's a new one. Oh, come on, open up. There, you go. there we go. When you get your Wink of Stella, it's got this black thing on there. You take that off. If you leave it on, it's not going to work because basically it's got a hole right there and that prevents it from getting punched. Or And so you, you want to roll it in there so that hole gets an opening. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to pour a little bit of my glycerin in there. Hope I don't make a big mess. Okay, so not a whole lot. It's always going to be a little different. So what you do to get it started, it says push on either side. I'm going to stick it down in there and I'm going to start pushing. You can already see it's come it's getting down there. Here it go. There it goes. See it? Can you see it? I hope so. I'm just going to do like three, four squirts of it in there. Okay. And you got, look at that, some shiny glycerin. Okay. So this is one way to do it. I did it, but I did a full bottle on that sucker. <laughs> but you could do just a little bit because there's still some in there. There's always some in there. And this is, I'll show you what I do for that because this is, that was in the last video that Facebook got rid of <laughs> that, how you do it. So there you go. 
Okay. There's another way you can do this. You can just pour the glycerin on your on a block and then just squeeze. See, and so there you've got it like that. Okay, but so then you still got, you could, I, I can see it, but I don't think you can. There's still quite a bit in here, so you can use it as it's normally used. Okay, so I have one of my Berlini brushes, and I have glycerin with wink listed on it, because that's all I use this one for. And we're just going to. Put it on the paper. You can make any paper sparkly paper doing this. Ooh. So I hope you can see it. It's it's really sparkly. It's I mean you could do we could do a little bit more on it. Is this the one I just used? No, this is the one. Glycerin. Just depending on how much glycerin and how much wink of Stella you're putting on it is going to put is going to make it how sparkly it is. And obviously, when you're using wink of Stella, it is it's wet, so you have to let it dry a little bit. And it, oh man, that's pretty. <laughs> Can you see it? I hope so. It's really really pretty. Um, you just have to let it dry for a little bit and it doesn't take long. So I'll just set that right up there. Okay. So I have rubbing alcohol here and I got this little dish. If you've ever had your nails done, like acrylic nails done, which I used to for so long, um, always used stuff like that. So I've got one here that is, this is the one that I dumped out all of it in there so but I think there's probably still a little spark a little bit of a sparkle in there so I'm just gonna pour some rubbing alcohol on that and unscrew this oh you know what I don't think that's even has it been broken yet? Because I just took... Okay. So then you fill it back up. And you could do that with all your blending brushes. If they don't have... If, if you think they're empty, you just put some alcohol in there. And then, because you're always going to have like glitter, always have glitter like around the edges of this and everything. So that's one way to uh, to refill your <laughs> your wink of Stella. So there you go. So I've got these right here. I just keep these on hand if I ever want to make. You could use this on any cardstock. Um, but another thing to do with these um, bottles is. When I, whenever I, sometimes I put rubbing alcohol in the spritzer and then I add a few drops of refill ink so I can spray over paper. But then, you know, I'd have to own like 50 of these to have every color in there. So what I also use these for, uh, I'm just going to use this. I don't want to make a mess. Just put some rubbing alcohol in those, and this is lemon lolly. Look at that. And so then when I want to use, when I want to put it in the sprayer, just get a little, little funnel thing and dump it in there. And then when you're done with it, you can clean it off and you can dump out what you didn't use back into the bottle. Um, one of the things I do on these is like, I'll just put wink. 
just so I know what they are. This is a Sharpie. And then this one I'll do, well, it's wet. And of course I don't have a paper towel over here. Well, let's see if it'll work. Lemon Lolly. And so then once, once it's empty and you, if you want to use it for something else, oh gosh, paper towel, paper towel. Come on here, I'll just use this. I keep, I keep one of these microfibers in my room for everything. You can, you just dip this in rubbing alcohol and it takes it off. Okay. So Sharpie on plastic comes off with rubbing alcohol. All right, so there's a little trick there. I'm gonna put this up here because I know that I'm, if I end up knocking it over, I'm gonna be rubbing that. Okay, so Wink of Stella, rubbing alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol, refill inks, that's what's great for those little bottles, okay? And you can, they, they're small, you can store them somewhere, it can, you know, it can be something easy. Now this is like, I used the Wink of Stella with it, I don't even clean these. I think it's, so, so far I haven't cleaned it, so, and it still works. So there you go. Okay, so I already stamped our Shepherd. There are no dies for this. Here, let me, this stamp set, and we're using several, I've got, the sun just really came out, so I've got tons of sun coming into my room. I've got tons of stamps, and we're using several. Um, but no dies. But the Shepherd is, is really easy just to fussy cut out. And you could also just stamp them. Obviously, if you're doing a background like that, it's, you're, you're not going to be able to just stamp them unless you stamp it and then, ha and then have a mask for it, which you're fussy cutting anyway. So I just fussy cut him. He's pretty easy to fussy cut. All right. So. Yeah, you see the light? It's like, it's kind of annoying. Of course, all these windows were covered with our shutters. All right, so I put, a, put them on a little hill and I'm using the deckle circles for it. I don't even have it over here. It must be, oh, it's back there. The deckle circles, everybody knows what deckle circles are the dies. All right. And this is just a piece of crumb cake. And I'm just going to do it like this so that that little part's going to come off. Now, I don't even remember. I think this was the same size. We can always cut it if it Actually, you know what? I'll do it like this so it's not so big. Like that, because it's really not that big. But you do it like that. This is the same width as the frame, which we'll do the frame in just a minute. So it's four inches wide. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's probably not going to be big enough. Well, let's see. Oh no, it'll be big enough. See, okay, it looks small, but it's big enough. Okay, done with that. Oh, actually, one more, not we have one other thing to die cut. Okay, so here's the hill that the shepherd is standing on. These are these are I don't I I I don't know what they are. They're not stars, but I just I stamp this after I had already assembled the card because it just was a little blank and it just didn't look right. So we're just going to stamp this a couple times on there just to give it some dimension, you know. Do it on the other side. You're not even going to see this part, but most of it, but okay. Just to give it a little different look. And then I did I took my wink of Stella and I just went around the edge. Okay. 
again, just to give it a little bit of dimension. Okay, so what we're doing, I, I do this a lot. I mean, the reindeer that we made last week, I did the same thing with the glimmer paper where I made a frame out of, with the glimmer paper. I just, I do that with a lot of my cards. I just like the way that that looks, gives it a little more, I, I don't know, just kind of, I don't know, I just like it. So what I've got here, now that this part, the background, oh, that's so pretty, is um, five and three-eighths by four and an eighth. So I cut a piece, this is the Season of Elegance paper, which is just gorgeous, so pretty. I mean, just tons of metallic, beautiful paper. I don't have a whole lot left because one of my advents is with it, but this is four by five and a quarter to make it a frame. So what you're gonna do, same as I did last week, you're gonna line this up. I'm gonna glue it down. This is a quarter inch right here, and that's where I'm lining it up. And you're gonna start at a quarter inch here. And as you can see, I used my Sharpie. Oh, that didn't even hold it down. I made the line a little bit longer because it's kind of hard to see, especially when I'm doing a video, because you want to start, you're making the frame a quarter inch all the way around. So start at a quarter. Oh, start at a quarter. And you're gonna go down to five because it's five and a quarter. So there's our first part. Then we turn it same. Yeah, this is not this tape is not sticky anymore. Start again at quarter. This is four inches. So you're starting at a quarter and you're going to three and three quarters. side again. Start at a quarter. Five. Okay. One more side. And then quarter. And if you do the rubbing alcohol, you can cut, this can come off too, because it's plastic. It's a three and a quarter. Okay. And there's our frame. And you still get, you got a lot of this left for, gosh, I mean, I, I haven't even shared any projects with it yet or anything, but it is really a pretty, it's one of the prettiest papers I've seen. Okay, so here's our hill, and here's our shepherd and his cute little lambs. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put this behind there first. Once again, <laughs> that's almost empty and I always forget to test it before I start these lines. I'm sorry for this. Oh, okay, bear with me. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna turn it the other way. Oh, so much better. Somebody must have opened that because it always has to go a certain way. I have a big window right next to my desk where I make my videos. Okay. Not working. All right, here we go. So there's our hill. I just like to go ahead and glue that part down. Okay. 
This is dry. It's so shiny. We're going to do our star, and our star is directly on there. So I just kind of like to line this up, make sure, because you, do, you don't want, you could glue this down and then stamp your star, but since we're using embossing powder, when anything's down and you do embossing powder, it could the embossing powder could get like underneath the paper, so I just like to about there. All right. It's okay to have it on there when you're just putting the ink on there. It's just when you get the embossing powder out, I don't you don't want it there. embossing powder. See, you got I got a little bit of the edges on there, so I just rub those off. There's our star. paper's still a little wet. You see it curling up, but we'll get it glued down. Okay. Leave this out because we got to do our sentiment too. So there's our star. All right. So for the sentiment, so that is from the Shepherd's Care piece on earth and what I'm die cutting with this is the peaceful season I'm die cutting it with this one so I don't typically put the stickers on my stamps the clean stamps, I don't. I just don't put my stickers on them. I mean, I didn't used to do that. I used to always put the stickers on there, but I just don't. I just figured. I used to have, I would spend so much time on putting them on there. <laughs> and it's like, okay, I'm just not going to do it anymore. And I haven't regretted it. I mean, sometimes you want the stickers on there, but I don't know. I, I just, I don't worry about it. Okay, here's our piece on earth. You gotta give it a second. Don't touch it like right away. You gotta let it dry for a few seconds before you touch it. <laughs> Believe me, I've learned my lesson on that many times. Okay. So this fits almost perfectly in there. And again, I'm sorry, I can't even zoom in. I don't know what's going on. I should have started working on this a little. a spoon. Right, that tape is not working. I got a here. Maybe this one will work. All right. Okay. All right. 
Stay put, stay put. There's my peace on earth. Okay. So now we're just going to assemble and I'm going to, the bow, I'm going to tell you how that all came about. Okay. So, gosh, this is really flat. I put so much on there. It's like, you see how it's, it weakens it a little bit, but that's okay. Cause it, this isn't even on a card base yet. Okay. He goes under here just a little bit. Let's see if I can, yeah, I can get him up there. If not, I can use. So I'm going to put the glue on everything. I'm going to let it dry some because when you're using a skinny frame like this, you want to be able to move it, make sure you got it centered and everything else. That's the best thing about the multi-purpose multi glue, the Tombow, is that you can move it. You can move it when it's wet, but if you let it dry a little bit, and it's you can you can move it and it won't make any marks or anything. Okay, so we'll just set this off to the side. So what I did on this, the reason why there's a bow there is because I made a mistake on the background. I did something and then I actually had like glue on it. So I used my adhesive remover, which I use for everything and it pulled up the color. So I was like, I'm gonna, I'll just cover it with a bow. And I like the way it turned out. So, I mean, sometimes you, you know, you make mistakes on stuff and then you end up doing something to cover it up and then you like it even more. This ribbon, let's see, where's the other one? This is an online thing and it's, it's gold and silver and it's, it's just really pretty, sparkly. So. My dogs are being so good. Oh gosh, I probably shouldn't have said that. I don't think anything's being delivered today, so that, I'm, that anything of mine could be somebody else's. Okay. Scissors. So there's our ribbon. All right. You can tell it's drying. You see how it gets clear? And then there's still some that are white. When it goes clear, that means it's, you can move it without it putting the adhesive on the paper. This is just so pretty. I love the, she I love the Shepherd's Care. It's, it's really pretty. It has been back ordered. I don't know if it's not back ordered anymore. I probably should have looked before we started this. But I sure miss the nativity scenes we had last year. That was really one of the best Christmas stamps and stuff that I've ever seen. The dies were fantastic. I made ornaments with them. I made I made so many things with them. All right. There we go. 
Isn't that cute? All right, so glue dot for the ribbon. I don't have to use the ribbon for this one, but I like the way it looks. Like I said, that's one of the best things. Here. So there's our ribbon, and then, don't know what that was, all kinds of stuff going on in the street. So many people having their roofs fixed, we had ours fixed, it was a quarter of one shingle, so very lucky. All right, goes over that cute little lamb, Sam. Okay, so I hadn't put it on a base yet, and I was I just was like looking at all my blues, and the, and the thing is, is when you use the sponges and you use different colors, there may not be a blue or green or pink or red or green or whatever that completely is the same color or coordinates with it well. So I used, obviously, Night of Navy and Misty Moonlight, and this is so much lighter than both of those on their own. Balmy blue, boho blue, I did all of them. And then I had pecan pie, and I just thought it looked really good with that because that's what I stamped him with was pecan pie. So that's the base that um, I'm going to use. All right. Come on. So five and a half. I usually use my scoring tool. I like that better for scoring paper, but I'll just, oh, that doesn't work. down there good all right so there you go a really shiny sparkly card not like over the top like glitter paper but just subtle glitter so I I, I, I love that I mean I first I had just done just the background with the colors and everything and I was like oh that I you know I really liked it and then I was like uh, I want to make that a little shiny I just thought that that would be really cool so Okay, so I keep talking about my advent calendars. As you pro if you watch this or you visit my site and you watch my videos, you would know. I've been talking about my advent calendars. I made a video of one of them. I'm going to bring them over so you can see them. I've got the video. Everything's done. I'm just organizing it and, um, you know, working all that stuff out. So it, it will be by tomorrow. I was not going to – I didn't do a live on it because – it's just, it was so long and complicated and everything else. I just thought live is not going to be the right thing for that. There, look at that. Isn't that cute? You could stand it up and I could be able to see it. But then you, you still see the Merry Christmas. And look at those drawers and everything. Isn't that pretty? This is a really pretty one. I love this. So this is the video. I do it on this one. And then I also share this one. I'm not going to do a video on this one because it's the same size. And everything is just different paper. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love this. And then I did one of the take a bow dies, and I haven't glued it up there yet. But look at that. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't that be great for like little kids? So anyway, so I <laughs> I made a video. I have another one that I'm gonna do that's totally different. It's a different um box. It's not the same wood thing as that one. It's different, it's a different shape. So I'm gonna do that one soon, maybe hopefully by next week. But Anyway, so if you have any questions about this, um, you can let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that it's like so far away and you see my messy <laughs> desk. Um, and then also don't forget about what these bottles are so good for. I mean, this, I mean, 
The week of sale, I don't even remember how much it is, but this, this one's the whole thing dumped in there. But then I filled it back up with, with rubbing alcohol because there's still some glitter in there. So, but that's a whole one. And then this is one that we did today. And then you can also do it on the block and just, um, squeeze your wink Stella on there to, for those. All right. Hope everyone has a great day. If you've got any questions, let me know and take care. See ya.